Hey guys, welcome to Black Wolf Audio. My name's Patrick. Uh, today we're doing an online class on uh, how to create your own drum sample packs inside of Contact. Uh, for those of you guys who use Contact, you know that there are several uh, additional uh, sample packs that you can buy to use for your songwriting purposes. Uh, now I want to teach you how to create your own. So if you have drum samples that you're using and um, you hate to kind of like uh, map them out all over the grid in your DAW. I'm going to be able to show you how to be able to just uh, create a contact file and that way you can use it anytime you want and not have to worry about all that and you can just use MIDI notes. So um, this class is also going to be broken down into two parts. Uh, first one's going to be level one which is going to be showing you guys how to create like a basic uh, contact kit. Um, I think the general purposes for that one would be if you're a guy using like hip hop or pop kind of stuff and you don't mind using the same drum sample over and over and over again in the song, uh, it should be suitable. And then level two is going to be more for my uh, acoustic rock metal guys who um, when they use drum samples, they kind of need to have the same kick sound, but it's going to be a slight different variation. So like uh, it's multiple samples of the same kick. So it gives a little bit of a, an acoustic, more lively feel opposed to something that's repetitive over and over. So anyways, I kind of want to show you what I got right now. Uh, right now, this is a sample pack that I created for my own drum sample pack. Uh, it's from a Dark Horse percussion kit. Um, but that part's not really important. What is important is this uh, MIDI track right here. Um, we're going to need a little bit of MIDI information to kind of hear what we're doing. So this is a basic rhythm that I have. So pretty simple stuff, you guys get it. So first thing I want to do is get rid of this drum sample pack that I have here. I'm going to go to factory default, clear everything, right? And what I'm going to do is this, uh, I think, how do I do it? File. Oh yeah. So if you double click, give it a second, it'll go ahead and loo, uh, excuse me, load this new instrument. Uh, it's going to say new default. We're going to go ahead and label this uh, kick pop slash hip hop so and this is just a general name it's not specifically to these genres um so anyways after we have that what we're going to do is click this little wrench here at the top left and this is going to be all the parameters to affect this one instrument okay now i know this looks all kind of complex but i'm going to walk you guys through it okay so first thing we're going to want to do is click this tab called group editor or excuse me actually uh, map editor okay and uh, you see this huge uh, piano roll that we have going on here. So let's go look at this MIDI file. As you can see, these right here are the kicks and they are on C1. So you can see that we have this lane here for C1. So what we're gonna do is this. I'm gonna go over to where I have my file saved at, which is right here. I'm gonna go to this folder. Uh, now I wanna mention these samples I got online for free. So these are out there. Um, so this is by uh, Cloudstorm, and he's got a bunch of different samples. I'm going to just go to his kick, and I already listened to one of them, and this one sounds pretty good. Right, so all we're going to do is this is take this kick and drag it over. As you can see that I'm bringing it into contact. It's highlighting already uh, where it is. So you want to make sure that you're on C1, and you drop it in there. Now, when we hit C1, you see now that the actual key is blue. If we hit it... Now it's playing in there. So very, very simple, very easy to use. Um, so that's, uh, now we have our kick, right? So we're gonna close the MIDI mapper and for that one, it's actually done. It's very simple. Now every time you hit this, it's gonna be the same sample over and over. But let's say we wanna make a kick, right? I'm gonna go to this one and do snare, pop, slash, hip, hop, all right? Uh, let me fix that here. Okay, great. Go to the wrench, go to your MIDI map. Now I know I have the snare hits on the, um, excuse me, on the D1. So let's go back to our folder here. Let's go back to snare. Let's take a listen to some of these. So 
So I kind of like 13, it's got some reverb to it. It's a kind of an interesting snare. So what I'm gonna do is take this, go over to D1, make sure I'm in the right lane and it'll highlight it there. Make sure it works. All right, great. So that part's done there. Now the one thing I do wanna make sure of, which we kind of skipped on the uh, snare, is you wanna go to uh, down to the bottom where at the modulation where it's gonna have these parameters. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the attack is, is at zero, hold, have it as far out, decay, same thing, sustain, same thing, release the same. And the reason why is this, what this is doing is it's going to control how long the sample will play out, right? So if I have all this really short, uh, let me go ahead and bring back this. You can hear as soon as I um, take my finger off my mouse and I stop uh, activating the sample, it cuts it off early. So if I hold it, you can hear that reverb, but if I only click it quick, it's going to stop it. So what we're gonna do is take all these to make sure that it plays the full sample, right? So now when I do it and I just click it quick, you still hear the full sample, so and that's what we want. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go out of here. We're gonna do the same thing for the kick. Attack zero, hold all the way, decay all the way, sustain, release. Uh, there we go. All right, so and let's go out of here. Okay, now the one thing you wanna do is to make sure that your MIDI information is going to be read by this is you wanna to go to these MIDI channels here and send them to Omni. And what that's going to do is take any MIDI signal coming from anywhere and allow this to play through it. So now let's take a listen, let's play back. And in five minutes, we already have a drum sample pack that we've just created using free samples. Now I do wanna mention that um, some of you might be wondering, well, if I have this uh, MIDI map editor, couldn't I just theoretically go to my sample here and drop this in here? Yes, you can, but if you want to print these tracks later and you want them individually, or if you want to affect them differently, um, it might be a little bit kind of uh, difficult to do that later. Um, I personally like to just have my things all separated that way, if I want a solo one, I can. So for example, if I had my snare and kick on one and I want to solo just the kick, well, if my snare and kick are all together, then I, I don't have that option. So creating different instruments is really the best way to go. Now, when you're done with this and you want to save this to use it for a later time, what you're going to do is go to file and go to save multi as, right? Now, what this is going to do, let's go to my desktop here is essentially, uh, you're gonna name it to whatever you want. So let's say hip, or what do we say it was? Pop, hip, hop, contact, example. And I'll even make a link for this for you guys to download it if you want to. The stuff's free anyways, but that way you can kind of like take a peek to see what I'm doing here. And uh, select patch in samples, and when you hit save, what's gonna happen is this. I'm gonna actually delete these two now, right? We're gonna go file, we're gonna load, we're gonna go to desktop, and we're gonna go to what we just saved and click open. And then click no, that doesn't matter. What this is gonna do is bring them both back. So essentially you're saving that one file filled with all of them. So that way you can always recall them at any time that you want. So that's a nice little feature to have there. So, yep. And then it, it all works fine. So. Uh, I'm going to say that this is going to be the end of uh, level one to creating your own drum sample pack. Um, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start level two and we'll go from there. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you at level two.